Hey guys and girls, uh, welcome back to another example video. We're already at example 16, it's going really fast. Uh, we're going through a lot of important stuff. Um, but today, uh, this time, we're going to be using functions to explain a little bit about the memory. I mean, it's going to be a little all-in-one uh, thingy here. But uh, I'm going to use a function here. And what it's going to do is going to calculate something and it's going to change something in the main function. Alright, because you remember this variable here, we're going to uh, just say whatever, 10, right? And we're going to have result. We might not need result. We'll see as we go along. Um, we'll have a number. And we want a function to change this number. Alright, so let's say integer. Uh, let's see just, just an example here. Integer, um, change number, and int a, and then we'll just use this. Not the, Remember, you can use a function prototype and then actually write it down here, but we'll just write it up here because it's so short. Uh, a equals to 10, okay? and Or 12, let's change it to 12. So what's going to happen here? We can change this to void, actually. What's going to happen here when we input our number. So change number, let's say number. Oh god, oh god, number, oh god. What's wrong with me today, dude? <laughs> there we go. Change number to, to 12, all right? It's gonna go here, it's gonna make our variable, create our variable here, go into this function. Okay, you wanna change number, we pass it in as a par parameter in here, right? And we passed in number as the parameter because this function takes a parameter and we changed a to 12 so this means number should be changed right well let's see what happens see how number before uh, and that line uh, whoops number after okay number and that line Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, number before should be up here, of course, and number after. So what do you think is going to happen here? Well, 10, 10. Why didn't this change this number? Well, the thing is, in the memory, in the computer's memory, every little, like, the memory is built up of a lot of these things, right? A lot, a lot of small uh, pockets with special addresses okay each of these are ordered they have addresses when we created our number 10 here this stored an integer of number 10 in the memory okay and to change this we would have to access this box and change it right and uh, what happens here in change number is we make a local variable we make we don't make a something called a reference variable we make a normal variable here as a, as a temporary variable and that actually makes a new one here and it makes int a into 12. So that's going to stay in here until uh, while this function runs. And then here it's going to be gone, right? So it's local. And it's, it's local to this function here. It doesn't actually do anything in main. So how do you actually take the number that I'm passing in and change it? Well, you want to access this, right? So what we need to do is change this to a reference variable. And then you use this ampersand operator here which is going to tell us that, okay, A is going to hold an address, not just some number. Okay, it's going to get an address of what I pass in. And this number has an address. Okay, every variable has its own address in the memory. So we're going to pass in the address for this variable into our function. And then it's going to change what is at that address to 12. So it's going to ac directly access this and change this to 12. Okay, so let us try now when we have a reference variable. What happens now? Whoa, whoa, ho, oh, it's 12. What happened? Well, just what I explained. We actually changed the actual variable here. So that's what's important with reference variables. And we'll come into pointers and other memory address things, and we'll have a lot of fun with that. But this is just a very, very quick introduction to reference variables and uh, reference parameters here. So uh, I hope you learned something and in the next tutorial we'll make a little bigger program and uh, do something more with functions. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.